you, little kitty. I used to think you were the most mischievous cat. But your cousins make you look like a meditating monk. Well, of course. But first, we need to know who, if their high energy is linked to ADHD or not. So, let's zoom in. Sometimes, it can be tough for any kid to pay attention, listen or stay calm. But a few kids or even adults struggle with these things almost all the time due to a brain development condition called ADHD, which stands for Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. Though kids suffering from this condition may show different signs and behavior, ADHD can be narrowed down to three types, namely inattentive type, hyperactive impulsive type and combination type. Let's look at them in detail, starting with the inattentive type in which the kid may get easily distracted, may seem absent-minded or forgetful and lose track of their things. The hyperactive, impulsive type of kids is constantly on the go as they are very restless and may have trouble sitting still or staying quiet when needed. You may see them constantly jumping and running around the place in a way that may disturb others. These types of kids are known to make learning more difficult for themselves and other students due to their hyperactive nature. And the third is the combination type, which as the name suggests, displays the symptoms from both of the categories and is the most common type among kids. But the vital question is, what causes ADHD in the first place? Well, it's not exactly known what causes the brain differences of ADHD. But there's strong evidence that it is associated with low-level dopamine, the feel-good chemical our brain releases as a reward for performing certain tasks. So, as people with ADHD don't receive optimum dopamine, they don't feel motivated and easily get bored by things that others might find entertaining. Plus, many brain scans have shown that the prefrontal cortex, the part of the brain responsible for regulating emotions and controlling attention, is smaller in ADHD patients, resulting in impulsive behavior. Besides, kids also can be more at risk for it if they were born early, are exposed to environmental toxins or if their parents or relatives suffered from it. But remember my friends, it's normal for a little kid to be distracted, restless, impatient or impulsive. So these things don't always mean that a child has ADHD. However, if any of the said symptoms occur on a consistent basis and doesn't seem to improve with time, then it's better to make a quick appointment with your doctor. Though there is no cure for ADHD for now, your doctor may suggest certain medications, behavioral therapy or a combination of both to help manage symptoms and improve functioning. And the best part is, this condition can improve with time when kids get the right treatment, eat healthy food, get enough sleep and exercise and have supportive parents, friends and teachers who know how to respond to ADHD. Trivia time! Did you know symptoms of ADHD typically first appear between the ages of 3 and 6? Also, boys are almost three times more likely to be diagnosed with ADHD than girls. Sketching time! The sketch of the day goes to 5 years old Zoe. Hope you learned something necessary today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out.
Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs>